Hello. I thought I would do a studio tour video for my poor neglected little YouTube channel and um, just kind of go through my process, how I keep everything stored. I get questions often and I just thought if I had a video I could just refer to everyone that would make life easy. So without further ado, I am going to start over here. Um, truth be told as well, this is my second video. My first one was so loud. I did it during the day and we lived by an army base and the army planes were flying over the house so loudly, like so close. I could see the handles on the jets. <laughs> So I figured, okay, why don't I shoot a real quiet one? So anyway, okay, so I'm going to start over here. This is my little nook, which I'm kind of building on. But basically, as far as my sprays go, I have one of these handy um, Lazy Susan thingies, which you can find at any kind of Walmart, Target, Michaels, that kind of thing. Um, and I keep all my dyes and my sprays, my dilutions, paints in here, and then any extra Dina Wakely paints I kind of have in there. And then down here, I have um, my botanical um, bits. And I think that this is a galvanized silverware tray. So one of my favorite places to look for organizing are in the bath section and the kitchen section. Um, especially if you go to the kitchen aisle and you're looking for things um, by the dish racks, you'll find cool, clear containers to organize stuff in the refrigerator, which could be handy for storage, silverware trays. Um, same thing in the bathroom, you have makeup, storage so I love that too this is a cute little container um, I have like a galvanized theme so that's why it's just all this wicker wire barbed wire kind of stuff this is where I keep my bigger paints for the really big paint projects um, that's my little plant and then I like to store, I make a lot of handmade journals. So I have these little, this is probably like a redone container. Um, and I have all my mini, like this is a little zine that I made. Um, little tiny journals like this, smaller journals. So I like to keep those in here. And I like to keep them out and about. My little, my little guys like to look through them. I like to look through them. So just makes a nice little container and then I got one of these units I think I did get this at Hobby Lobby I believe um, but it's just these kind of units you know you can find more and more often out and about at the art supply stores and right now I have a lot more random storage in here um, you know, I have some of my alphabet stamp sets and tags I have in here. This drawer I have, um, oh, I feel like Amy Sedaris with her drawer thing. Um, this drawer I have like 12 by 12 paper, um, just extra brushes extra glue, pencils, markers, heating tools, that kind of thing. All in here, I have my bigger stamp sets, the alphabet stamp sets. And I, what I did for those, I know they come in like those little compact containers, but I find them hard to get the stamps out of. So I put them in these strawberry containers. And same thing with like these larger ones. I think this is like a spinach container. So it just made it a little bit easier for me. Um, this is my book binding drawer. So I keep all my like awls and um, thread and stuff in here. My sticky back canvas tape in there. Um, 
coin envelopes, that kind of thing. And then in my desk area, it's nighttime, so I'm not like loving the lighting, but it's better than the jumbo jets. So this is my big desk, and I try to kind of have everything here, you know, inspiration and all my main supplies. Oh, especially my chocolate <laughs> right at my side. So in these kind of baskets, I have a lot of the bigger papers. Um, you know, like if I make gel prints, I'll put my gel print papers in here so they're larger. You know what I mean? And then I have just like random stuff in there that I'm working on, like collaborative projects, that kind of thing, in that drawer. And then this is where I keep a lot of my smaller journals that I'm currently working in. Um, you know, so these would be like the six by six sizes in here. Um, my writing journal, my daily crack creative practice journal, just all the stuff like that in there. And then I have a little trash basket. And then on my desk, I like to have stuff that I use all the time at the ready. So I have, you know, like a little bowl of stamps, including all the new ones I just made. If you go to my Instagram, you'll see that Tim Holtz has a set called uh, Stamp Collector. And it literally, you can make real looking postage, which I love. Um, I have my iCAD bin, which I just finished, so I guess I don't have to keep that up here anymore. And I have my little text quotes from Ricky Tiki Tavi, and I got this cute little vase at the florist across the street above her. Um, and then I found one of these carrying baskets like this. Years ago, I kind of got on a mission. I really wanted to find ways to use all my supplies. And um, so my washi tape was in my closet, just never getting used. And that was really irritating me because I'd collected quite a bunch as, you know, haven't we all? So I got this unit out. I found it somewhere, probably like at a Michael's. And um, basically I just keep washi tape in it. I do have like a corner rounder in here. Sometimes I keep my little tiny attacher staples or just like some um, re-inking bottles, but it's mostly all washi tape and what I do is I get those large binder clips like this just to help me keep it organized so that way you know um, I have like my dilutions tapes my Dean Wakely tapes my um wow studio washi tapes um, so they're all together and I have to go digging so it just makes life a little easier and then I have a pot for my blending tools, which I use all the time, and my paints. And then this tray, people always ask me, I did find this at the Hobby Lobby. And this is really handy for, I keep all my Dina Wakely paints in here, because I use those pretty much exclusively, unless I'm doing really big projects and I need loads. Um, and then I have all my um, tags, you know, like reinforcements and sticky dots, all that stuff in here. Um, gesso, uh, glue, um, matte medium. And then I have a big thing of vintage photos, like real vintage photos and the Tim Holtz, like found relatives, photos, all that. And I have another kind of organizer, also galvanized. You can see I like galvanized anything. Um, and I have like the chip, oops, sorry, the chipboard um, quotes from Ideology, Tim Holtz, and all his sticky quotes and things like that up there. And my gel medium, stamp pads, um, 
scribble sticks. I just got my first migraine um, last week and I've had one for the last two days. Never had them before and I'm finding that it really makes it hard to process uh, talking <laughs> or making sense of any kind. Um, so scissors, so hopefully I can remember what the name of everything is. All my art pens, um, paint pens, Posca pens, all that stuff. So literally everything that I use every day is just kind of right where I need it to be. And then as we move over here, not too far away, I have this little number, which I just got because I needed something for my smaller papers. So you know, I have a drawer for my small papers, any kind of watercolor bits that I'm working on or weird faces that I make ahead of time. And then my chipboard stuff in here. This is mostly the Dina Wakeley chipboard, some um, Wild Studio chipboard on there. Um, this is stencils, which I'll, I'll come back to because I get a lot of questions about stencils. So I'll do a little bit more about that. Sorry, I've got my fingers in there. And then on the bottom, these are my larger journals. So um, I really like to, to work in the large Dilusions journal. And, um, you know, I have a couple of different styles in each one, so that way I like to treat it like a classroom. Like today I'm gonna do layering class. So I work in my patterns journal. Um, I have my Dina Wakely eight by 10 journals um, here. So I kind of keep all the bigger ones right in this spot here. Then I have this cube unit where I have all my stamps. So these are all books of stamps. And I keep all my stamps in these folders. Just makes it easier to find everything. Um, I will say I'm not in love with the quality of these. So if you're, they're already kind of coming apart. They're only a year old. I would recommend probably the Tim Holtz ones. I'm sure those uh, stand up to the test of time way better. He has ones just like that, I think. And then I have some magazine holders here where I just keep just bigger collage bits um, in there or vintage papers, card stock. Um, and I have more stamps in there, the darkroom door. They have those cute DVD holders for their stamps, which I absolutely think is so cool. And then over here, I have another unit. Um, where I have a couple more of these journal holders. So these are for like, mostly my medium sized, although I have a tiny one in here. Um, I have some fun Oracle cards, which I can't help but collect because the art are just so beautiful. Um, my typewriter is up here in case I want to start typing some fun things out. And then this is my larger handmade journals. Um, and I like to keep them out just to look through for inspiration, especially, you know, if I'm running it low, I can go back to, um, you know, older projects that I did. This is where, how I keep my tags for any kind of projects or blog writing I'm doing. These are all like, basically all my Ranger tag products, projects, stencil girl, all that kind of in here. So, just a fun way to keep them. And I, you know, I have a fondness for working on all the, the blog things that I do, so I just like to kind of keep it all together. I am killing those botanicals, though. Um, and then in these drawers, I have extra, um, like, paper dolls, the Ideology paper dolls, extra sprays and adhesives, um, extra journals. I don't even think there's much in that last one. And then over here, I have another one of these um, handle trays, which I love. And it, you know, it has a handle so I can carry it to my desk. 
if I'm working, and this is where I keep all the paper dolls. I used to have it organized by size, but now I just have small and large because I keep finding new, cool Tim Holtz stuff. <laughs> so I gotta find a place for all of that. And then this unit is um, where I keep things like my punches and my watercolor anything. I have my watercolor sets, Karen Dash, Neo Color, Distress Crayons, Jane Davenport Crayons. That's all watercolor stuff, which I can't close because my four-year-old was in there. Okay, this is where I keep my kind of vintage things, my vintage papers, sorry fabric. And this is my, one of my fodder bins for sale, which I have to get on because I'm almost done with my fodder project and my own fodder. Um, oh, and these stamps, which I probably shouldn't keep in there. So, lastly, I mean, this is my closet, so I share half of it with my children. Their half is in there. Um... And here I have my really big, big collage papers. These are the 18 by 24 size. Um, and I kind of got into doing this after watching all those Roxanne Paget videos because she's amazing. And um, trying to, sorry, my children make such a mess. Work on some larger kind of sheets. And then I have this this thing, which I found on the side of the road, which I love, it's like a mission style unit, for my 18 by 24 paper, and um, I keep my magazines, daily paper, regular paper, backup cardstock, that kind of stuff, all in there. And um, I have handmade papers, most of these I think are all from Paper Source. And my paper cutters, studio chocolate, gotta have that, old journals, and then all the kind of like old dictionaries and stuff that I use in projects. But let's come back to my favorite studio tool, stencils. So I have seen people, um, store stencils many different ways. However, um, I like to have everything, like I said, kind of at the ready, at my, at my arm's length side, right? So I like to have them on the shelf. And um, these are all my stencils. So I have two kind of ways for organizing them. I have these kind of bags, which you can find at either like a Jerry's Artorama online. Um, but I think I got most of these at Paper Craft Clubhouse. She is a great online shop. She's in Connecticut. And um, they're really handy for, I do, like I have collage papers in here, like the Dina Lee collage tissue and the Dilutions collage sheets in here. But the rest is all stencils. So for my bring it over here. So for this bag, it's almost all um, Ranger stencils. So I kind of keep it organized just because, you know, if I'm writing so many articles, it's just easy to keep it organized by company. Um, so, and you can see, like the thing I love about stencils, you should never feel guilty buying stencils because, I mean, there's probably a hundred stencils in here, maybe, maybe 75. And look, look how little space that takes up. You can never have too many stencils because they take up no space and they can do everything, right? They, they work miracles, stencils, I love them. So anyway, so I will say I keep my regular stencils out like this, but if I have the delicate like stencils and masks, oops, when I get them, I will put either the stencil and its masks together in the cell bag that it comes in, or sometimes 
I will just put the masks in a, a sewer bag separately, depending on the set. It's just, it gets to be a bit um, tricky if you're trying to organize them. And I know I've seen some people, um, these are all the alphabet stencils that though. I've seen some people clip them and stuff, which, you know, that's another way to go. And then the same thing over here. I also keep my, like a tissue holder here for the wet wipes. So when I'm working with stencils, I have those on hand. And then for the rest, I'm gonna move back a bit. Um, I have the kind of Ziploc portfolio things that you can buy. I think I got all of these at Walgreens. And again, just so I can keep track, I'll put the company's name on there. So this is the Artisan's Cachet or a Work of Heart Studio. That's their, their stencils. Um, and then the rest, I think, for the most part, are all Stencil Girl. So, and I'll just write the style of um, stencils in there. For example, this is Architecture and ATC Mix-Up. Um, that's Handmade Stencils, Ray Misselman Stencils yet to be. These are the Martise ones that just came out. I have one for Darkroom Door. Um, let's see. People, grids, and triangles. Um, those are floral stencils and round and abstract mark making stencils. It's just easier for me to find things um, because again, they really, you know, they don't take up a lot of space, but keeping them organized and also it just protects them too. Some of them are just so delicate. Like, oh my God, these are, let me show you. I love these. Um, tell your story. Isn't that so beautiful? But it's thin and delicate. So, you know, I like to keep them in a, special clear plastic container. So that is pretty much it for my organization. I hope that was helpful and I hope my hands didn't get in the video too much um, and you didn't get dizzy watching it. Closet storage, paint storage, paper miscellaneous and here is my desk so thank you all so much for watching and uh maybe i give you some ideas today if so let me know um and i will hopefully be on youtube again soon with some more ideas to share